All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another Lego Star Wars video. And today we are going to be discussing everything you need to know about Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. Before we jump into all the details, another huge thank you for all the support so far. And don't worry, I will have my hands on the game at the time of this video's release, and I'll be working on a ton more videos cutting out soon, including guides, tips, and general gameplay videos. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in seeing, then make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into the details. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga will have a release date of April 5th, which at the time of recording this video is yesterday in Australia, and most likely the rest of the world's present day. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is available on PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PS5, Switch, and PC. However, one important thing to note is that if you plan on playing on PC, you will have to wait a little bit longer until the rest of the world has reached 5th of April before you can play the game. Don't ask me why they did that, but for some reason console players got the game like 24 hours ago, and Steam is still telling me that I have like 6 or 7 hours left to go at the time of recording this, which by the time the video releases, I will have my hands on the game. The standard edition of the game is 60 US dollars, which pretty much just comes with the base game, and if you get a digital copy, you will get the classic Ben Kenobi appearance in game, and should you get the physical copy, you will score yourself a Luke Skywalker minifig. Now there is also the deluxe edition of the game, which will be 70 US dollars, which in my opinion, and if you watched yesterday's video, is 100% worth the extra $10 as it comes with seven DLC packs, which we went through all of the characters that will be included in those packs in yesterday's video. And if you haven't watched that yet, I will pop a card in the top right hand corner of the screen. So you guys can click that and leave it in the other tab until the end of this video to watch after. Another important detail is that this game was built from the ground up. So many of the features have multiple gameplay changes, compared to past LEGO games. You can visit every planet and major location from all nine films, which feature 45 main story missions, including episode eight and nine, which haven't been put into Lego version just yet. On top of this, there are also open hubs for each planet to explore. Talking to NPCs in these open hubs will open up side quests that will lead to rewards like Kyber Bricks, as well as there are puzzles to solve and a rumor system where apparently you can pay off NPCs with studs to get hints to where you might unlock something like a brand new ship that has not been discovered yet. There are also space hubs which are basically above the planet where you can partake in aerial dogfights and find other quests and rewards up there or basically just roam around out in space if that's what you want to do. When you first launch the game you will be able to choose from the start of each trilogy. Originally we thought it was going to be from the start of any of the actual episodes but apparently it's been changed now to be the start of each trilogy. This way you can play through the story from whichever trilogy that you prefer first. The game has a galaxy map to travel to different planets that are unlocked as you progress through the story, and you can return to previously visited locations whenever you want. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is the first Lego game with the evolved combat. Lightsaber combat now has more depth thanks to the brand new combo system. Rather than button mashing, we have new combos that are strung together to take down enemies, mixing in your lightsaber combat with powerful force abilities. Not only that, but on top of this, the blaster combat uses third person over the shoulder perspective, which now allows you to aim in for more accuracy, which is also a new feature in the Lego Star Wars games. As a blaster hero, you can also use terrain as cover to avoid incoming blaster fire. I'm pretty sure this was available in Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, and it is making a return in the Skywalker Saga. As far as characters go, the game features over 300 characters, including 38 DLC characters, as I mentioned earlier, including the likes of characters from Rogue One, the Bad Batch, The Mandalorian, and more. And if you want a full list of those characters, again, make sure you guys check out yesterday's video. One other new feature to the game is that every character also has a skill tree, and this is quite interesting. The skill tree is going to be upgraded by locating Kyber Bricks throughout the map, rewarding players for actually exploring and taking the time to find these Kyber Bricks. The upgrades can increase health, give damage upgrades, and more for the ridiculous amount of characters that are in this game. There are going to be obviously 300 plus characters, so there are 1166 kyber bricks to locate in order to fully upgrade every character so if you are looking to 100% this game you definitely have a task ahead of you because finding all of these kyber bricks I can imagine is going to be crazy. I will have a guide and tips on whenever I find a kyber brick as well so if you guys want those things in a video I will definitely keep you posted as I go through the game and hopefully it helps you guys out as well. The last thing to mention is that local co-op is available in game allowing you to play split screen with a friend however 
online co-op will not be available so you cannot play with friends that are outside your household. You can share your own console or PC with a friend inside and you guys can play local co-op split screen but for some reason the online co-op option was actually scrapped. I believe it was originally going to be in the game, but due to other restraints inside the development process, they had to actually remove it. There's no word as to whether this is going to be added again in the future. I really hope it is, but I'm not getting my hopes up. So for now, it's gonna to have to be local co-op or just playing by yourself. So this pretty much wraps up everything you need to know. If I've missed anything, however, be sure to comment it down below for everyone else that's watching the video. And if you are watching the video currently, make sure you check the comments in case someone has something useful that I did miss. I hope you guys all enjoyed enjoyed this video and if it did help you make a decision on whether to buy this or not then subscribing to the channel is much appreciated. Anyways with all that said I am going to get out of here guys. I appreciate you for clicking on another one. I will see you in the next video and may the force be with you always.